back to my channel if this is your first time here you are welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back to my channel guys please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed these videos because it takes a lot of effort and time and ingredients that goes into making this video so i would appreciate your likes and subscription okay today like the says i'm going to show you how to make a kojic acid um whitening cream i say whitening cream because prolonged use of this product is definitely going to whiten the skin and kojic acid gives this very creamy um yellow on that one that you know you see and you like on the streets of instagram so that is something that you will get from this kojic acid cream okay so without further ado let's get right into this video okay here i have my scale my mixing bowl i have my cream base which i already made but i always like to heat up my cream base just before i use it just so that i have a nice um consistency so this is my cream base if you haven't seen the video on how to make a cream base please watch this video up here and you'll see how to make that i'm going to be using um i was going to use almond oil but i'm deciding to use this oil because i would definitely like to use this oil and it's a very very moisturizing oil so i'm definitely going to use it it contains a lot of um moisturizing oils properties in it and i really really like that it has vitamin e it has um jojoba oil which is good oil for all skin types and all those good things that oils should have i like like it let me just show you guys how it is on the skin so you see how it is it's not an oil that is going to leave see how it moisturizes into the skin so I like that about the oil and it has a nice fragrance as well so i'm going to be using that instead of my almond oil i have my glycerin i have my phenoxy ethanol and i have my polysorbate i also have um my powders today i'm going to be using lycoris powder and kojic acid powder these are two great skin lightening powders we all know how kojic acid can be very very um unstable so i'm going to be using an antioxidant in this formulation although i have my antioxidant in my cream base which is vitamin e but i'm just going to be using little of that in this formulation today just because kojic acid after a period of time begins to turn orange so that's why it's used in soap and wash off products a lot this is a very very simple natural brightening also going to be a whitening cream it's very very simple to formulate with the list of ingredients but still very very potent okay the only reason why i'm going to be using this is because i'm trying to limit my um oils and putting more of serums or brightening serums so you can also skip this and just stick to using your oils for your formulation you don't need to do that um you don't need to use this or any other um, um serum of your choice so in my formulation i'm going to be using zinc oxide in particular cream because zinc, zinc oxide is um a form of sunscreen it's not that strong like in industrial products but it's um, going to give this cream some sort of sunscreen so you can use it during the daytime as well as using your regular sunscreen with this product okay so i'm just going to go ahead to start by dissolving measuring out my powders and dissolving them i like to measure out my powders first i'm making sure that i dissolve them before i start with my formulation so i'm going to be dissolving my lycoris powder so my lycoris powder is going to be seven percent of my production today i'm making a hundred grams cream today so it's a very very little amount of cream so that's seven grams now i recently learned also in formulation that it's best to use powders that are you know miscible or use similar uh solubility together so powders like kojic acid and lycoris powder dissolve in water easily so you can use them together and then those powders that dissolve in oil you use them in um you use them together so because of the solubility so my diluent today is my hydrosol i'm going to be using that but i just want to say kojic acid can be used zero to three percent in formulation so in this formulation i always like to stick in my formulations i always like to stick to two percent for my kojic acid so this is going to be two grams of kojic acid 
shouldn't go more than three percent when using kojic acid that is something that everyone wants to know by now so i'm going to make sure that i'm getting the exact amount of grams for this powder So because this is 9 grams, this is now 11 grams plus 2. Just want to make sure that I'm getting the proper. So this is 9 plus uh, it's 15. So that would be 9 plus 7 is 16. So just want to make sure that we're getting exactly what we need. So I'm going to dissolve this in my diluent which is rose water i have heated this water up to you can use distilled water or um any hydrosol of your choice i'm using rose water and because these two powders can't dissolve in the same amount of water so i'm going to be using um this water to dissolve them okay so for my hydrosol i'm going to be using 10 percent so this is 10 percent that's 10 grams to dissolve this powder so these two powders are miscible in water as you can see I heated my water up to 70 degrees Celsius, but the fact that I've been talking, the water has cooled down. So I'm going to double boil this and show you guys what the end result is. So this is what our uh, dissolved um, kojic acid, as you can see, already has that orange look to it. So that's how kojic acid it it's, has it gives this orange look. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead to measure out our base cream. For my base cream, I'm going to be using 60% of base cream. So that is going to give me 60 grams of base cream. So I'm going to measure out 60 grams of base cream. So here I have my products in phases. Phase A is the, the powders dissolving them in liquid, okay? And then phase B is my base cream, which I've already done. So I'm going to put my phase B to my phase A, okay? So I'm going to put my powder in here, my dissolved powders in here and mix that. Oh, I missed the clip where I added the zinc oxide. So I added 1% of zinc oxide to this formulation. You want to be careful when adding zinc oxide because zinc oxide can leave a white residue when it's overused. So I like to stick to 1% to 2% when I'm using zinc oxide in my formulations. So zinc oxide, like I said, leaves a white residue. That's what leaves that white cast when people make um, sunscreens okay so my antioxidant which is my vitamin e like i said i was going to use four percent or i am going to use four percent of vitamin e in this formulation however it's already in my base cream so i'm just gonna add two percent of that and then add the two percent left over to my oil okay so i'm going to be using six percent of that of oil in my formulation I'm going to measure out six grams and I'm going to add the extra two grams so that gives me eight grams 
so that is eight grams you guys can see eight grams and then instead of the vitamin e like i said this contains kojic acid sorry so instead of the vitamin e i'm going to add two percent of this nano white serum just two percent don't need too much two percent gives me two grams Scale. this one is over dance when it's not short sure that's over Oh. I forgot to tar that's three grams and I need only two grams. If you haven't signed up for our formulation class, we are starting this Monday. We think this video is going to be up on Monday, so we are starting today. Uh sign up for our formulation class so you can learn how to come up with your own recipes and formulate your own products. Okay. All right, so I have added my base cream zinc oxide. Um, I haven't added my glycerin. So my glycerin, I'm going to be using six percent. So that's six grams of glycerin. Glycerin is acting as a humectant here, so it's going to keep the skin moisturized and soft. Wow formulating this product six grams i'm using vegetable glycerin this is the sonia um, double distilled glycerin i like to use this glycerin for my formulations so this is six grams This product is definitely going to moisturize the skin okay and i'm going to be using two percent of propylene glycol propylene glycol is going to make sure is an emollient it's going to make sure that this product um, absorb into the skin and in place of uh, propylene glycol i'm going to be using i'm saying that um glycerin is a humectant it's going to make sure that the skin is supple and propylene glycol or polysobilite i'm using is going to make sure that this product absorbs into the skin beautifully and my propylene glycol i'm using two percent so that is two grams of my total formulation This product will brighten, lighten, and moisturize the skin after a long period of usage. Okay. This is a very simple, basic skin lightening cream. Of course, I'm going to give it a name, but for now, it's just Kojic Acid Cream. Okay, so this kind of cream or this particular cream or any cream that contains um, contains kojic acid, it should be consumed as early as possible. That's why I'm making this very little quantity because I'm, sure I'm going to finish this cream in probably three weeks. With this kind of cream or with this cream, you will notice brightening after two one to two weeks of continuous um one to six weeks right i was running out of storage so i'm going to repeat myself again and so i am saying that this cream you have to use continuously for one to six weeks depending on your skin type you might start to see results as early as one week two weeks three weeks four weeks five weeks depending on your skin type so that's why i made a little amount of cream because i'm going to try and finish this i wanted to hand mix this 
but I don't want to waste my ingredients because if I hand mix this, I'm going to have lost at least some grams of product. So I'm not going to hand mix this. I'm just going to continue to use my spatula. As you can see, the consistency of the cream is thickening because those cream bases are melting. So the consistency is going to um, thicken. After a period of time, this bay, uh, cream might become orangish because that is something that is very common with kojic acid okay so kojic acid is unstable it's not going to affect the potency of the product but you want to make sure that you consume as quickly as possible so what i do is i label the batch size so today i made this on the 20th so i'm going to know that in the next um two weeks i should have consumed this product so if i'm selling this or if you're selling this product to somebody you want to make sure that you know you let them know that they should consume this product because kojic acid is very um, unstable so a lot of people don't like using kojic acid in their cream and so come and learn how to make products like this you know the right way so that you are not destroying your skin or someone else's skin and you know make products with confidence so yeah sign up for our formulation class and learn how to make this for yourself look at that nice consistency this is handmade this is not store-bought products this is a handmade product okay So I'm going to go ahead and put this into my container. This is a 100 gram worth of product and this is a 250 ml container. So when you are formulating product, it's good to start out with small badges just so that in case you make mistakes, there is no total, you know, loss on your end. This cream is 5.45. So as you can see, it's a very, very, you know, skin friendly formulation. There's no need to increase pH or reduce pH. This is a perfect pH for the skin. And I'm using phenoxyethanol. So I added 2% um, of phenoxyethanol into this production. So please remember to add your preservative. So thank you guys for watching this is our kojic acid cream this is not a cream it's a lotion because of that consistency so i'm gonna do a patch test so you see how moisturized that part of the skin is that's what you're going to get from this product so let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions regarding this product and i'll be more than happy to answer them okay Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.